Hello everyone. Today we'll be breaking down how to solve basic adding and subtracting rational expressions. So in these types of problems, we have to assume that um, are the different variables a, a, b, and c cannot equal zero. Uh, or if it equals to zero, then the expression is just going to come out as a value of zero. So the basic way how to um, add and subtract is something like this. So let's make like a quick table. So it's adding versus subtracting. Let's actually make this a little more cleaner. So I'll just keep this right here. So let's do adding. and sub for subtracting. All right, so the basic way how to solve these types of problems is if A over C is subtracting, or A over C minus B over C will bring us A minus B, A minus B over C. So A over C minus B over C will give us A minus B over C. How about addition though? So if you were to have a over c, and if you have, and if you were to add that to b over c, that will always give us at all times a plus b over c. All right. So now let's move on more into the the ways how to solve these basic equations. Now that we learned how we're supposed to be solving these, so in this case, if you have, if you were to have addition a plus b, a over c plus b over c is equal to a plus b over c. And subtraction, a over c minus b over c will give us a minus b over c. So this is going to be one addition problem. All right, so here we're given 7 over 4x plus 3 over 4x. Say that we're given this, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to find the solution of this. And you guys can pause the video and I'm back. So adding this, since we had the same denominator and we could use the formula, a over c plus b over c is equal to a plus b over c, right? So that makes a plus b, so seven plus three. So seven plus three is gonna give us 10. 10 over four x. I think we can actually simplify this. So if you were to divide this whole entire thing by two, right? So if you were to divide this whole thing by two, our final answer can be five, five over two X. Great job everyone for those that got it right. Let's do another problem. So now this is gonna be a subtraction problem. Say that I'm given 2x over x plus 6. And just if you guys don't know, this is adding and subtracting with like denominators. And we'll later be going on to unlike denominators. So 5 over x plus 6. You guys have 5 seconds. Um, and I'm back. So 2x minus 5 cannot really equal to anything. So we have 2x minus 5 over x plus 6. And that will be our final answer because we can no longer simplify anything like this. All right, guys. I will give you guys two practice problems now. So one practice problem will be subtraction and one is addition. So the two ones that we'll be having is 8 over 12x minus 4 over 12x. Please solve this one. And then let's have 3 over x plus 2 over x. All right, I'll give you guys one minute and I'm back.
So 8 minus 4 is going to give us 4. So we have 4 over 12x. It could be simplified. So in this case, we can have 1 over 3x as our final answer. In this case, 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 over x, it can no longer, no longer be simplified. That is our final answer. All right, guys, so now we'll be adding and subtracting expressions with unlike denominators. So, yeah. So the basic way how to solve these, so let's do another thing of addition. Is this subtraction? And let's just make a dividing point. So if we were to have A over C plus B over D, and now the second denominator is D because we don't have like denominators. So you guys may know we could add and subtract, so you have to multiply on both the denominator and numerator to get a similar answer. So we could do this too. AD over CD. plus BC over CD. Now, to simplify this, we can get AD plus BC over CD. So, AD plus BC over CD. Now for subtraction. This one may be a little complicated, but it's the same way how we solve these, like how we did for addition. So, AC minus b over d so it's the same format so we have a d over c d minus b c over c d and then final answer would just be a d minus b c over c d all right now let's do one quick example of adding with unlike denominators. So I'm given the following expression. 7 over 9x squared plus x over 3x squared, 3x squared plus 3x. I will give you guys 10 seconds to solve this question or I will wait for that amount of time and you guys can pause the video and try to complete this tough question and I'll be back soon. All right, and I'm back. Hopefully you guys have paused the video to help you, um, to get a quick gauge of how to solve this question. So the first step is to, of course, um, multiply the denominators and numerators. So you have the same denominator so in this case, um, if we use the formula AD plus BC over CD, uh, we could actually get as our answer of to being so is equal to 7 times 3x squared plus 3x plus x times 9x squared over 9x squared times 3x squared plus 3x. So 3x squared plus 3x. Our next step. Sorry guys, if this gets a little smaller, but now using the distributive property, we can get 21 x squared plus 21 x plus 9 x cubed. Now denominator 27 x to the fourth plus 27 plus 27 x to the third.
now we could factor or divide out the common. And yeah, so we could simplify this again. So we can have three X times the quantity of three X squared plus seven X plus seven. over 9x squared times the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of 3x. Now we see these two common factors, so we could cancel 3x and 3x out. Again, sorry if it gets a little small for you guys, but now we actually have completed the problem. And our final answer can be 3x squared. So we have 3x squared plus 7x plus 7 plus 7x plus 7 over 9x squared. So we have 9x squared times the quantity of x plus 1. So this is the final answer. Hopefully for those that paused the video, got this as a final answer. And now we'll be moving on to subtracting rational expressions with unlike denominators. All right, everyone. So this is gonna be the problem that we have. Um, I'll give you guys about three minutes and you guys can pause the video to solve this. And I'm back. So the first step to do is to factor each denominator out. So what it is, is that equals, we could do x plus 2, like always. And 2x minus 2 is factorable, so we could just do something like this. Minus negative 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 3. So we factored these out. Now, since the least common denominator could be 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 3, this is going to get a little smaller and a little messy now. So we can have x plus 2 over 2, uh, uh, two times x minus 1. Now we can multiply both sides by x minus 3. So we have times x minus 3. I'm just going to make it something like this so it doesn't get too messy for us. And now we do minus negative 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x minus 3. And you can multiply this by the quantity of 2. So now we can make us equal and multiply everything out. So we have x squared minus x minus 6 over 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. And then we have negative four minus negative four x minus two times two times the quantity of x minus one times x minus three. Sorry about if this gets a little too small for you guys. And then now we could subtract the numerators. And after subtracting and simplifying. We can get x squared plus 3x minus 4, x squared plus 3x minus 4, and then 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 3. And now after a lot of simplifying, 
I'm just gonna keep this work right here. Well, yep, yeah, right here. And I'm gonna work on the side now. So just bring this arrow, this. So it's gonna equal us to get x minus one. So the quantity of x minus one times the quantity of x plus four. So x plus four over, so we have over the quantity of two times x minus one over x minus three. Simplify this out. So x one, x minus one, x minus one, both the quantities cancel out. And our final answer is going to be x plus four, x plus four over two times x minus three. And the restriction in this case, and the restriction is that x cannot equal to negative one. Because the main reason why we did this um, exclusion is because we canceled out the x minus one quantity. And thank you guys for listening to, to today's video. In this example, we covered subtracting and adding a rational expressions and this is with both like and unlike denominators thank you guys for listening and i hope everyone has a wonderful day bye